No, very wise man told me that <laughs> under 100 people, you shouldn't use a microphone. So my question is, do you all hear me? Yeah. What? <laughs> do you all hear me or not? Yes. Yes. Are you shaking your head because you don't hear me? I'm not using the microphone. Oh, are you cheating already? All right. If you are not going to hear me, I'm going to use it. Just tell me, all right? So as uh, uh, Anjay, right? Yeah. Where, where are you? He told that we are all from Toastmasters. And Toastmasters is a public speaking organization. So we are supposed to be masters, but it's not all the time like that. Sometimes we have to be babies. Sometimes we have to be kids just to learn new things again. But we have one thing in Toastmasters that is called the table topic speeches. And in table topic speeches, you are given a question and you have to talk about this question. So now, guys, I want you to give me one question so that I talk about it. What's the meaning of life? What's the meaning of life? All right. I would try not to say it. So the meaning of life is that when you are not bad, it's the complete opposite. So for example, when you look at this glass, this is a dead thing. I can break it, I don't go to prison because of it, right? So this thing is dead. And what makes you alive is when you are afraid. And believe me, I'm not, like fucking afraid when I came to this stage. So being alive is to be afraid. Let us explain your like answer your question. It's a, it's a good answer. Yeah. It's a good answer. Thank you very much. Okay, give me another one. What's love? What is love? Maybe you don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. All right. There is also a different thing. Have you ever heard about? The Polish-Hungarian friendship? Igen. Yes. Igen? Who said Igen? Én. Magyar vagy? Igen. Na, akkor magyarul folytatom, jó? Okay, does everybody speak Hungarian here? Yes! Yeah. 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 After a few beers. You're not After a few beers. <laughs> Maybe shots for everybody? <laughs> it's, it's on Andrzej anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Hungarian friendship is true, it's real. It has been there for hundreds of years, hundreds of years, and probably hundreds of years to come. And it's also true for our languages, right? So for example, do you all understand when I say kaposta? Yes. Kaposta, yeah. yeah. exactly. <laughs> How about foka? 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 No, foka. You wish. You wish. It, it's for later, right? <laughs> so, foka? Yeah, the seal, right? And how about when I say tegla? Tegla. Wow. Guys, amazing. Give yourself a lot of applause. You see, you basically speak Hungarian. <laughs> But the problem is that sometimes these friends are false. So they, the word sounds very similar, but they mean something completely else. For example, the Polish word kujon. It means more or less nerd if I'm right, right? Okay. Well, in Hungarian it means a guy Typically a man that likes much younger girls. <laughs> now imagine the confusion. When I talk to my Polish friends, for example, and they tell me, Gabor, you know, when I was in school, I was a big queer. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, but why are you so proud of that? <laughs> all right, Gabor, Gabor, you don't understand. Everything I am is because I was a kuyo. <laughs> all, right. all right, and I assume you have just gotten out of jail, right? <laughs> Fair enough, but of course then we clarify and we share a lot. Perfect. But what is nerd in Hungarian? Will you help me? 
My Hungarian friend over there. Nerd in Hungarian. Okay, nerd in Hungarian is peda. <laughs> so the same conversation goes like this. What I say. My friend, Pavel. When I was in school, I was a big peda. <laughs> and then uh, Pavel goes. Where I got I know is becoming very popular these days. <laughs> but maybe, maybe you shouldn't be this proud of it. <laughs> oh, but Pavel, 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 you don't understand me. Everything that I am now is because I was a big pedal. <laughs> and then he says, man, I really don't want to know what you had to do in order to become what you are. Okay, but it's not everything. What is pedal that is fagot in Hungarian? It is buzi, which is written exactly like the Polish word buzi. That again means something else, right? What does it mean? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So when I came here, I was interested in a lot of cultural things. And by cultural things, I mean pretty girls. <laughs> and sometimes I went to pretty girls, and I asked them for a date. And sometimes they came. Nice. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Usually we had a good time together. And then, at the end of this date, they would tell me, Oh, Gabor, you're such a nice guy. I'm so happy that I met you. Boozy. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? We shared so many laughs together, we were so nice together, and then you call me a faggot? <laughs> but fine, I will be a knight. I will just say, Kasha, I appreciate you. I don't know what you are rude to me, why you are rude to me, but. I still like you, pussy. <laughs> said, pussy? We had such a great time together. And then you call me pussy. And I'm like, okay, okay. Kasha, maybe you don't know this, but pussy in Hungarian means kiss. <laughs> and then she goes, ah, okay, Gabo, yes. You're a really nice guy after all. Who's <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. I'll just leave your time.